Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates and leave what does not. I have my Tarot Grand Lux with my cleansing crystal on top. All right, so we're going to see who needs to hear a message. All right, so we have the Death card being crossed by the Two of Cups. Very interesting. We have, what do you need to focus on? The Six of Cups. What are you leaving behind? The Emperor. What are your strengths? The King of Swords. Near future, we have Judgment. Ooh, advice. Nine of Cups. Okay, there it is. The environment, the tower. Tower hasn't been out lately. It's kind of stayed away, but now it's making its it's making its debut. It's showing itself again. Um, hopes and fears. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Um, for potential outcome, overall energy is the Hermit, which is Virgo. Let's see, this is Scorpio. And then this is Aries. Okay, so we have the current situation, which is the death card. And then we have, um, it's being crossed by uh, Two of Cups. So it could be a relationship coming to an end or especially with this being aligned with the tower and then the potential outcome with the eight of cups is walking away from a relationship. It could be a friend, family member, or a partnership. Um, I feel like that may be something that you're struggling with is walking away from a relationship. I kind of feel like you are the one that's in control here. I feel like you are the one that wants to walk away. It also could be the fact that you could be holding on to a past relationship. Um, it could have to do with that because you're 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 leaving behind your power, right? You've given up your power in this relationship, um, or it's trying to like if you keep thinking about a past relationship, like you're giving up your power because you keep focusing on this thing that is in the past, something that you love, someone that you loved. It could be that. Um, it could just be a relationship that you had a breakup and you still haven't gotten over it and that's okay because we need you need time to process and you need time to work through it but you also have to realize that you don't want to keep yourself in that energy to the, get to the point to where you lose your power right that you that all you're doing is focusing on this this relationship all you're doing it all your energy is going to that and that that is controlling you that you're not controlling your thoughts your thoughts are controlling you and the situation is controlling you. So I feel like that's what you need to realize. I feel like something needs to come to an end, whether it's it's a current relationship or it's a past relationship or it's something that you really enjoy doing that just doesn't, it isn't working for you anymore. Something that's, that's kind of, it, it's over, but yet you keep holding on to it. And then it's time for you to move on. It's time to move on from this situation, whatever that may be that represents for you. What you need to focus on is your happiness and being light and just like being that kid that's just swinging on the swing and is just so happy, right? Not a care in the world. What toy am I going to play with? What am I going to do? And just having fun, like bringing that lightness back into your life because I feel like this is definitely heaviness here. And to focus on what makes you happy, right? Bring that because you're in charge of what you focus on. You're in charge of your thoughts. You're in charge of you know, you're never going to be able to move on if you keep focusing on this and you keep dwelling on this and you keep hyper focusing on this. And it's like you have to step away and realize, you know what, I, I can't change it. It is what it is. You know, if you've tried, you know, your best and you've put everything in and it's just not working out that maybe it wasn't meant to be and to realize that and say, how do I have fun again? How do I laugh again? How do I be silly? How do I have fun? How do I do that? Let me focus on that instead of focusing on this. Again, what I feel like you're leaving behind is your power. So we have the emperor. So I feel like you're leaving your power behind. Your strengths are is I feel like you're good at analyzing and seeing things. But sometimes when you get too caught up in this type of energy that you're not able to see it. So I feel like it's going back into your strengths, right? Is being able to see, you know what? This really isn't serving me. This really isn't doing me any good. I've got to move on. I, I can't dwell on this. I can't stay in this energy that I've done everything that I can do and it's time to move on. Um, the near future is hearing the message that it's time to free yourself, right? The gates are open and they're, they're free. 
and with the dove freeing yourself from the situation that in the near future you're like I feel like it clicks for you and you realize you know what it's time for me to move on it's time for me to just let this go and to free myself from this almost like these chains that you've kind of you know it's like being in that devil energy where you've changed your you have chained yourself to this toxic energy and you're 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 in this toxicity and that you realize okay it's time to free myself and let it go um the advice is nine of cups right making yourself happy having that fulfillment being excited and being in that nine of cups energy again right these are connected right here what is it the environment is it, it's crumbling down it's falling apart tearing things down it's not serving you it's not working for you tear it down right and rebuild start from the beginning build a stronger base and say okay this is what it is this is what's happened i've got to move on I've got to focus, refocus, right? Focus on something else. If you start feeling yourself getting caught up in that that cycle again and that looping where you're looping the situation, trying to make it different, but you keep looping and looping and looping it. Okay, I need to focus on something else. What is it that I need to do, right? I go outside, change your environment, go for a walk, call up a friend, um, do something to change that looping behavior and focus on something different um, with the environment is is this here. The hopes, uh, hopes and fears is page of pentacles. It's a new beginning, right? Pages is young, new energy. It's a new beginning for you. It's a new direction. It's, it's moving towards the positive. And the potential outcome is the eight of cups where it's moving on, right? Moving towards the sun. He's moving towards the sun. He's leaving this behind. Can you ever truly forget? No, um, but it just isn't something that you're focusing on all the time. And as time goes by, that you're that it becomes less and less. And that's what you're trying to do here. And that's what the reading is trying to say is to make this less and less because it's not serving you and you're, you're losing your power within this situation. Um, the hermit card is looking within and realizing and saying, okay, I have to use my time wisely. I have to control what it is that I'm thinking about and what I'm focusing on and I need to train myself that I need to move on from this and not dwell on these things as long because it takes my power away from me right it's retraining yourself um which is what I've been trying to do is is I have I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising I have a really bad habit of just focusing on the negative and just looping it again and again and replaying and replaying and then I spend so much time doing that that I can't focus on anything else. And I'm trying to train myself and get my mindset as to I need to move on and I need to let it go. I need to not focus on that. I need to not focus on that disappointment and that that letdown and that frustration. And it's worked. I've had some situations in the last month that were very upsetting um, and before, even my sister said she was so proud of me. She's like, that would have thrown you for a loop for a week. And I said, yeah, but it only did maybe a day, not even a day, I don't think. Um, so I've learned that, okay, it is what it is. And how can I move on from this? And to not give that negative situation my energy and my focus. So I feel like that's what this reading is here, is, is to not give this negative situation your energy or your focus. And if there's a relationship that you need to move on from, that you need to make those decisions and, and you create that tower moment where you walk away or you just distance yourself from that person. Sometimes we have to make those adjustments where it's like, okay, this person needs to be in my life, but I'm going to keep a larger distance between me and that person because that is what I need to do for me. I need to set those boundaries for me. All right, let's get an angel answers. We have ask for help for other, from others and have that support system. If you need that support system, ask for that support system. We also have forgiveness. So that may be what's going on here too is that forgiveness. Are you do you need to give that forgiveness to someone? Do you need to give that forgiveness to yourself? Um is that something that you need to do? It's about what do you need to do to help yourself move on from this situation, right? 
what is it that you need to do to help yourself to move on from this situation and let this situation go? What does that look like? What does that require? And forgiveness may be a big one, especially, you know, for some with that card coming out. Let's grab a star dragons. We have trust, love, and friendship relationships are hard relationships are hard we all have those moments with with your with our children with our family members with our friends with our partners you know with our people we work with any type of relationship even with our pets right you know when our pets chew our favorite shoes and we're like oh i love you but why did you chew that shoe that was my favorite shoe right um and it's like there's going to be times and we're going to do things to that person that are going to bother them. And there has to be that forgiveness. If it's a relationship that is important to you and that means something to you and that you want to continue with, you have to have that forgiveness and say, okay, that person didn't do it with malicious intent or that person didn't realize that how much it bothered me, right? However, that forgiveness is and to be able to move on from the situation and have that forgiveness and move forward. Because if we walked away every time there was a problem, then we would, you know, never have a lasting relationship because relationships have those ups and downs. And is that, you know, having that forgiveness to help move forward and to gain that trust, right? Trust. Trust is a very important thing. And sometimes when issues happen, that trust becomes a little less and it's like, okay, you have to earn my trust back again. But it's also having that trust within yourself that you're going to make the right choices and decisions for yourself, that you're not going to keep yourself in a situation that is draining for you. You have to be able to trust yourself also. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.